from San Francisco. This is Jane McNeil reporting for Elsevier Global Medical News. I'm at the 50th annual meeting of the American Society of Hematology. Cancer patients are well known to be at risk for thrombotic events, some life-threatening, but there are no guidelines recommending prevention. A phase three trial from Italy reports that giving patients low molecular weight heparin cut thrombotic events by half. They said, well, more studies are required before any recommendation can be made about the use of antithrombotication. So we planned the study and we compared a low molecular weight heparin called nabroparin. This was compared with placebo. The use of placebo was justified by no evidence with anything. anything. Uh, patients were randomized two to one. In, uh, this study was done in, in Italy in a 62 Italian center. Patients again received either nabroparin or placebo. And uh, the, the outcome of the study, the main outcome was uh, clinically over metabolic <coughs> events. So no surrogate sort of event, but just uh, heart events like the DVT and pulmonary embolism. We included patients with plug, 25%, GI, 35%. So overall, GI and lung cancer accounted for 70% of the entire population. The two populations were well balanced for the number of risk factor, and the main achievement was a 50% risk reduction in the overall population. So we went down from 4% to 2%. And this difference uh, was statistically significant. You enrolled a very large group of uh, almost 1,200 ambulatory cancer patients. And you were able to, to reduce VTEs by 50%? Uh, this is a very good point. Uh, Prophylaxis is used in, in cancer patients when they undergo surgery and in some cases when they have a central vein catheter, a CVC. The real issue is whether prophylaxis should be used in ambulatory cancer patients. So this is a real open question. And the, the current guideline don't recommend the use of this prophylaxis and we should for the first time in a very large study that is possible to prevent this uh, Thromembolic event, and this is a big achievement for clinical practice. Why are oncologists so re reluctant uh, in practice to, to use these drugs? It, it's rarely done. Well, difficult to say. Uh, I, I must say that this was very much the same situation with major orthopedic surgery. It took a long time to convince the orthopedic surgeon to use prophylaxis. I'm not saying it's, uh, the same, it's the same situation, but certainly it takes time before uh, you know, people is acquainted with the concept. And uh, after all, I mean, the oncologist needs uh, studies, mm -hmm. and we are providing one of those, and just the first one. Some other will come, so this process will start, and possibly in the, in the coming years we will have uh, a reasonable prophylaxis, a well done prophylaxis, of course, if the study will confirm the results we got. And right now, you, your strongest results were in lung cancer patients. Yeah. Um, do you think this is where the use of prophylaxis is going to start? This is indeed a very good question. Uh, in, the, in the overall population, the risk reduction was 50%. Uh, but we should say that uh, most of the risk reduction was accounted for lung cancer patients. In, in this patient, the risk reduction was uh, more than 60%. Uh, why was that? When uh, possibly in cancer patients the time curse of thromembolic event uh, is uh, different, I mean it's much closer to the, to the start of treatment, uh, possibly the, the anti-neoplastic uh, regimen are more aggressive, uh, possibly the cancer itself is more thrombogenic, but certainly this should be the first target for a study in, in individual cancer type. The question that this trial attempted to address was if you give these patients a low molecular weight heparin to prevent blood clots, do you help them or do you hurt them? And the interesting and important result of this study is that it appears giving patients a fixed dose of a low molecular weight heparin prevents many more blood clots uh, than it causes uh, bleeding events. And so it is, is apparently safe and effective. And this can be confirmed in larger trials, and particularly uh, 
cancer is one word, but it covers a host of different conditions. It may be important to look at specific cancers. Some cancers, patients with cancers of one type may benefit more than uh, those patients who have cancers of another type. So to make a long story short, it's an extremely interesting and I believe important result. It is preliminary, but I believe it will stimulate a host of additional studies to determine whether and when to use uh, thromboprophylaxis in patients with cancer.